Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon with your Studios into the Mad. These seem to be some beer chickens. I'll take it. It's also well. That is not a good well. Are you guys like electrocuting your floors? Yes you are, that's rude. I'm sure there's better ways to use your time than to electrocute your own flaws. But I mean, you do you, I guess. Oh, hello. Wakey, wakey. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. <sighs> and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. I'm pretty sure Terra's Village was something that had a challenge for us. So I'll look into that at a point in time. I mean, I'll probably do my lap around and then end up back here and then start looking through the portals as they come. So that's the current plan. I'm pretty sure this area looks familiar. I think I've at least seen this place in videos of the first Spyro, or I might have actually been able to make it this far and just have no recollection of anything in between this place and the first level. Which honestly is very much like me, I think. Oh, you bigums! That was very rude. That everything set up to be just going around, collecting gems, then that happened. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. Where are you going? And how do you how do I I get such a nifty hat? Other than waiting for autumn and then just going and collecting orange leaves? That seems to be the easiest way to handle that. What a wild flight this one is. Let's not go there yet. Because as was my initial statement... Was it my initial statement? But uh, I, I really like uh, finishing up every part of the map before heading on to another. So collecting everything from here seems like something I would do in that matter, isn't it? Doesn't it? One of the verbs and it. I'm pretty sure the it is an important part of the sentence anyway. It's good to know that if I send sparks to chase the butterfly, but the sparks will not be collecting gems for me. Okay, Metalhead, I'm pretty sure, is the boss of this area. Oh, and this one needs a key. I'm pretty sure we can find one, but not in water. Water is bad. There we go, that, that approximately worked. Oh. Okay, and we need to get there to get the key, which probably means gliding from somewhere higher. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the Sappy to be over, and then I'm just gonna jump into his face. That works. And that's... About the minimum requirement for getting things done, isn't it? Things working. Hey, so what's your deal this time? I feel so sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Maybe once you've rescued 50 dragons, I'll feel a little better. 50 dragons? Yeah, I can do that. How many do we have? 48. 
How many are in this level? Oh, we already got everyone from this level, so that's nice. Can I climb this structure? The answer is... Yeah, of course. Is this structure meant for getting around to the uh, island with the key? Probably, yeah. You know, for someone who's feeling really bad, you do a lot of laughing there, buddy. But, uh, I mean, that's fair enough. You take what pleasures where you can, yeah? I should have done that differently. No, I was able to jump back up here, so that's fine. For some reason, I was completely convinced that that was not the case. Give me the gems. Give them to me. Okay, and I think we're missing like three or something. Yeah. And Sparks is fully healed once more. And those three gems do take us back to the beginning of the map, which is convenient because that's exactly how I planned to handle things. Alright, 100% level complete. So now it's time to go to the terrace village. The portal of which seems larger than I'm used to, and I like it. In fact, it's charming. Also, I like northern lights. Though I don't know if they're northern in this case. Because I have no idea where we are. And I do not remember the scientific name of these lights. The stolen road is Firmali said. The more you know. Okay. I'm just gonna go this way instead. There's a boy shooting chickens! That just shouldn't be theirs to harass, you know? No skydiving! Ah. I was really looking forward to a little bit of that. Okay, I missed that. Which is not the best. I also missed that. But we got a chicken! Yeah, that's pretty good. I still don't know if we're going the way we should have gone. But I mean, whether or not I should go somewhere is completely up to me, isn't it? And the treasure is hiding within. And when I say hiding, I mean hiding. That long cross had me deceived. For at least. A moment. Okay, is this back at the beginning? Yeah, I think so. Certainly looks so. Which is fine, because there's more gems here. And we need all of these gems. In my belly. That can't be right. Okay, so there is switch. No electric floor damage. Well... I haven't stepped on an electric floor yet, so we still have a chance to do that. We've only been shot. But being shot is not the same as stepping on a floor. I'm sure there are some people who will disagree, but I'd say that they are just living in different conditions. And those conditions are not good for them. Okay, I can see how this is a challenge. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. You're a chicken. Why are you? Why are you screaming at me? Stop screaming at me! No! Stop it! No screaming! That's what you get for screaming. Okay, so they are 
on different floor blades, so it's all fine. Oh, hello. Right. But that is not floor damage, so we're fine. 100% A-OK. -okay. There we go. Okay, I need something to destroy this with. So either explosives or something else. Maybe even something else entirely. Although I don't know if that is the case, that might just be an exaggeration. Ooh! Sparks, we missed this. Can we sneak around here? No. So we do most in certainly have to face this bugger. I think I'm supposed to walk here first. To have uh, less trouble reaching the bastard. Like that, yeah. Okay, there's a sappy boy. A big sappy boy. And floor sappy boy. Or hiding in the same area, which is inconvenient. At least. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay. Once again, set the floor for me so I can start in my movement. There we go. And then we can burn the big boy. Good. How are you doing? Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure. But what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. It's a nice swamp. What's he talking about, Spyro? Oh God, that's a uh, couple more than I expected. There we go. That's that's fine. Did you just kill a chicken? Or was that just uh, some random chicken harassment again? Oh, so does this look safe? I suppose so. Good. Okay, we should probably go, go up again. Because there's... Plenty of combat waiting for us. <gasps> Hello. Get in my belly. That's probably a less intimidating way to say that. I'm not entirely sure if that was intimidating. Ooh, hello. Don't mind me, you can continue doing your sappy zaps while I go and loot things. I don't know if they're fighting each other there or what's, what's going on. What I do know is that this one is a bit more challenging than the previous ones because... Ah no! I fucked it! I forced it up! I took a floor damage! You're not getting the skill point. Unfortunate. We were so close. So close, I say. Oh. Apparently landing there from there is not an option. But it certainly feels like it should be. I guess there's a higher place we can get to. Okay, and I'm certain they can floor damage from this one. Or not. I managed to just avoid it. Which I'm going to be honest about, I did not expect. Oh, and this is the building that takes me higher. Oh, 
Okay, but now's the question. The important question. What else am I missing? 80 gems. I think I know where they are, but my question is how do I get to them? Oh, the chickens. Get up, Sparks. Oh! I mean, there's also that area over there. So if I go back up... I don't suppose there's, like, a quicker shortcut available to us now than just going back over there, and then over there, and over there, and... Add infinim. Oh, okay. Then it's going to have to be like this. This doesn't quite work for me. Okay, but I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna take a look around and see if there's any obvious signs of other things I could have climbed. And if not, then... Well, I guess I know what I have to do. And that is... Glide like a maniac. This be an elevator. Oh. This is gonna take me a bit. Did I see a gem? Nope, that was a window. I'm going to guess that those 80 gems are all behind this particular challenge. Okay, I can land here. Good, that, that sort of cuts out the middleman who was capable of failing me. Here we are. That's five gems. That's a couple more gems. Ah, uh, there we are. Explosives. Just like I like them. Hmm, but there's got to be one more, right? Where is the last one? Was it somewhere I've already crossed and just didn't see it? Or is it over in the fern over there? Or was it over there somewhere? I have questions. Several. No, still no skydiving. That's why what I came here for, you know? What's the point of being a dragon if you can't skydive? Okay, let's take another look around up those parts, see if we can find the final rocket. And if not, then maybe it was before the gate. In which case, that's, that could be interesting. It's also possible that it's like somewhere on the, any of these rooftops. And the possibility it doesn't actually seem that much of a possibility. Like that much of a possibility. And that is not gonna help. I thought maybe it was up there, so I went closer to the wall than I should have. And ended up just falling down. Like a doofus. Which does occur. On several occasions. Many of which have been today. 
Okay, let's try this again. Alright. And after this one, I think I'm gonna go for the flight. Because that'll just... Either finish this up or whichever. Nope, none, not here either. I was hoping that maybe this little section here won't hold the rocket for me, but nope. We checked over here. Certainly rocketless. Quite frankly, incredibly rocketless. Everything seems to be rocketless. So we are gonna come back here and see if there was something on this ledge that I missed. Maybe that's why the chicken was sc screaming at me. Because he knew I would never find that rocket and he was just taunting me. With full awareness of how this would affect my future physique. Uh, physique? No, uh, the other one. The one that's not about the physical state, but the mental state. Sahi. Yeah, that one. It's easy to mix the two up if you're not the English nature's native speaker. But I'm sure it's easy to confuse the two even when you are. And it's just, and neither of those words have been really something you've had to use that much. Where are they keeping my rocket? I wanna take it and rocket to the moon! I'm not entirely sure how helpful that would be. It won't take us any closer to opening that chest over there. And that is what we're after. Get open chests. It's where treasure is held. Oh, which reminds me, I got the funniest spam message yesterday. Yesterday being a week ago, uh, and it was stunning, to say the least. Something about shiny nipples and all that. I'm not entirely sure what reminded of me of this, other than chest and gems, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay, are you hiding anything here? Is there a secret door I have missed? No. The answer is definitely not. Okay, in that case, let's get back up here. Hmm. Hmm. Where is this rocket? I need it. I can't leave the map without it, can I? Just burn every part of the map and see what happens. Okay, some of these plants don't get the burning effect. So that's something that happens. Or doesn't happen to be specific. Let's look for an invisible rocket. Like the pyro from Team Fortress 2.
Am I implying that the rocket is a spy? I'm sure I am. Like, I don't expect it to be... Anywhere I can drop to, to find the rocket. But I'm just going to make sure of that. If there's a secret waterfall area, I will be... Slightly... Unhappy about it. I don't want to just leap to my death, you know. There aren't many advantages to that. Hmm... Really? Okay. Yeah, I guess I wasn't expecting it to be on the same height as everything else in this zone. And that's level 100% complete, except for the skill point, which we did not get because I did not land that perfectly. Oh well. I wonder how many times I ran past that rocket. Oh well. Probably a few dozen times more than I would have liked. Alright. 100% level complete. Uh, we are now expected... Well, there's the Misty Bog over there. Okay, good to know. No, I cannot charge the board. Or can charge me, I am not allowed to charge back. Which is different from some other places where we've been. Where indeed charging can be sort of a back to back action. Uh, like the bulls that uh, owe me a skill point still. Because I didn't realize I was supposed to get them all stuck in the ground instead of burning them all. Because I forgot that there were skill challenges, which is something I should never forget. Okay. I was supposed to start with the chests, I think. Or the boats? I am not sure. And in fact, I'm not convinced that I didn't just accidentally land in the water instead. Retry that, please. Okay. Oh. Nope. And not quite. No. Retry that again. Okay. Like, all of these options are at a very strange and inconvenient angle, you know? Come on. No, none of that. Okay, we missed, a, we missed our flight, I guess. It's entirely the correct term. There's another plane over there. And then one more. And then where are, where are the gates? I feel like the chest might have been the... One just before the last step at this point. Or am I supposed to do this in those orders as listed there? Because that seems... Unlikely. Okay, let's look at the, the boats. Oops. No, it seems like the boats are supposed to be the step after the arches. Or are you supposed to kill the arches and the boats at the same time? 
It's also entirely possible, but that would need a spectral chest, which would be quite plausible. Okay, so we're getting smarter about this. We know bolts and arches can be collected together. And that, that seems to be the order of uh, events that we should be going through. Because the chests and the planes go off to their own separate area. Which are pretty difficult to navigate into at times. Like, just then. Well, yeah, we've done everything once now. So, let's enter this one first. Then track down this boat. And then head over this way, where we can track down both boats and archers. Like this. Yeah. Okay, where's the next boat? Over there. Did I get the boat? I am not sure. I did, yeah. Okay. So do, do a loop de loop. Loop de loops are not an option. Good to know. But that was the second best approach you could have pulled out of that. Ah no, we missed the chest. That's entirely fine because there's planes around and They'll take me around back to the chest anyway. So I'm just gonna go against the current for the planes. It should provide me with all of them. Like this. Bam! And we're done with that. Excellent. That took a lot less time than I expected. Which is good. Very good. Are we seriously at at a non-round number for gems right now? No, we're not. It was just being weird. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go and continue on in this marshy business. Bye-bye.